What's up, family? Welcome back to my channel. If you want to join my family, you just gotta click subscribe. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 we back. I'm good. Someone say, hey, girl, why are you on this sweet train? Why don't you make some chocolate chip cookies? Might as well. I love chocolate chip cookies. Who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? I did a lot of research, and today I'm going to be trying to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie. I climbed a whole lot of mountains. I crossed a lot of deserts. I got attacked by animals just for this recipe. I lost a few edges. Boy, if you don't get- I went through a lot just to make sure that I had every ingredient to make the best chocolate chip cookie ever. And I like my chocolate chip cookies chewy, okay? If you like them crunchy cookies, then it's ain't for you. Okay, I don't know how y'all can consider yourselves loving some cookies if you like it all crunchy. We're not doing those crunchy cookies over here. Okay, we don't want the crumbles. We want the, we want it to, we want that food porn. Oh my God. So right now, let's go ahead and go through these ingredients. So you are gonna need flour. I have bread flour. And you're also gonna need all purpose flour. Now, if you don't have bread flour, go ahead and use all-purpose flour. But like I said, after researching, apparently a little bit of bread flour is gonna give us that perfect cookie. You're gonna need some baking soda and you're also gonna need one cup of butter. Two sticks of butter equal one cup of butter. Kosher salt, two eggs, and y'all know I can juggle, right? Y'all wanna see me juggle? Okay. Hey, hey. All right, and you are gonna need white sugar, but you're also going to need dark brown sugar. I had no clue that there was a light brown sugar and a dark brown sugar. How crazy is that? And of course you're gonna need chocolate. You can't have chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. I have the milk chocolate right here, and I have the semi-sweet chunks of chocolate. But after researching, I heard that the extra pop is the dark chocolate. Another thing that I would consider more of like a secret ingredient would be espresso powder. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? Nope. I actually heard that espresso powder kind of gives it that extra boost of flavor. And if you got some kids running around acting hyperactive after eating some chocolate chip cookies, they probably sprinkled a little bit of espresso powder in the cookies. The last ingredient is going to be vanilla extract. I would highly suggest to get a mixer, I just got this today. This is gonna be fun, because as y'all know, I usually don't use a mixer. I usually use my little whisk. But like I said, we're trying to make the perfect cookie. So, we need the perfect tools. Let's get started. So I'm gonna take one cup of bread flour, and I'm going to sift it. And y'all are probably like, Trinity, what is sifting? Sifting is what a lot of cooks use to basically Filter out the flour. You know when you pour flour in, it looks very packy. This is kind of just going to make it light and airy. Let's see here. The perfect cookie. You gotta get eye level for the perfect measurements. That's perfect. I'm going to just pour it in. And you're going to just tap it like this. A little time consuming. A few moments later. So as you can see, it's very airy. It actually looks pretty nice. So I have three fourths of the all purpose flour. And now we're just gonna. These cookies better be, they better be on some other stuff kosher salt. Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking soda. Y'all remember that song? I like baking soda, I like baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. I'm in love with the cocoa. Now that you're done, go ahead and Give yourself a pat on the back because we are now done with our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna go ahead and start on the wet ingredients. It's gonna go in a separate bowl. You're gonna be taking your butter 
and we're going to be melting it. Not only are we going to be melting the butter, but we are going to be browning the butter. And y'all are probably like, browning the butter? What do you mean? Just think of it like toasting almonds. You know how you have raw almonds and then you put it in the oven just to get them nice and toasty. We're basically just gonna be toasting the butter. Just look at it that way. Give it a mix so it can all melt. And then we're actually gonna bring it up to a boil. Yes, a boil. You don't wanna burn it, you just wanna brown it. Just look at the color and you'll know when it's done. This is it, we have our brown butter. Make sure to remove it quickly, just so you can let it cool. Also, after boiling it, it is going to come a little bit short of one cup, so go ahead and add some water. So now we are at our one cup mark. Okay, so this is extremely important. If you're gonna be warming up this butter like I did, you wanna make sure that it is cooled down. And I'm not talking about warm cooled down, I'm talking about cold cooled down. Cause if you don't, and you pour this into your ingredients, it's gonna be really greasy and it's gonna throw off the whole texture. Don't do it. Make sure to put your butter on the side to cool. You don't want it scorching hot when you pour it into your mix. So just put the butter to the side. In the meantime, between time, between time, between time, go ahead and add your brown sugar. So if you wanna know the difference between brown sugar and light sugar, brown sugar has molasses. That's basically the difference. Brown sugar also has more minerals. It's actually healthier. Brown sugar has calcium, it has potassium, it also has iron. I mean, everything's better dark, sweetie. And now I'm gonna add in the white sugar. By the way, I added one cup of dark brown sugar and I added one and a half cups of white sugar. But all the measurements are gonna be below, but I'm also, of course, telling you in the video. Adding two tablespoons of vanilla. and one tablespoon of espresso powder. Be careful with this stuff. After that, go ahead and add your butter. Mmm, yes. So this is what it looked like after pouring in the butter while it was still warm because it wasn't hot but it was just warm this looks completely different than what it's supposed to look so i did it again and this is how it turned out two different textures this made a huge difference if you slip up don't worry about it you would just have to put the whole entire bowl in the freezer just for it to thicken up and then you can blend it so now i'm gonna add one egg and one egg yolk now just the yolk. You see how I didn't add in the whole egg? I had to separate it first. Now it's time to add in the flour. Only add a little bit at a time. And let's go ahead and beat this thing. Whoo! All right. Now y'all know what's coming next. Now I read that it wasn't really that big of a deal if I did not incorporate all of the flour all at once. I don't know why, but they suggested that it's best to fold over the rest of the flour when you put in the chocolate chips. Put some of that in there. Semi-sweet chunks right here. Milk chocolate chips.
and it is suggested that you actually let these sit in the freezer overnight. That's for the best taste, but I also heard that it really doesn't matter. So, do whatever you wanna do. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and pop mine on the pan because I'm kinda ready to eat. I am making these cookies kind of big. So they might touch each other, but I'm actually okay with that. This is not called the perfect circle for a cookie. This is called the perfect cookie. The cookie is a cookie, okay? And since I still have some left, I'm gonna scoop some on here just so when the other cookies are done, I can just pop these in there. I am done, here are my cookies. Once again, shout out to all the bakers out there, like, mm, oh my gosh, chocolate is getting everywhere. I just need to go ahead and, I don't even know which one I want. And yes, of course, it is soft. Look at that, look at that, yes, no crunch. No crunch here, even though I did leave some of the cookies in there for a little bit longer. Some of them got a little a little crunchy on the sides. But for the most part, they're nice and chewy. Mm. 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 I love milk beside my cookies. Like, I can't do it without milk. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. It's just really soft and chewy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All that chocolate right there. I'm about to dig into this. Mm. Ooh. We gotta bust this thing open. Look at it, y'all. Like, just look. Perfect. In conclusion, I love my cookies. I will sit them in front of a table full of people just to judge them. That's how confident I am in these cookies. Ooh, I should have put some vanilla ice cream on top of one of these cookies. Mm. Well, let me know below, how do you eat your chocolate chip cookie? Do you put ice cream on it? Do you just have it with a side of milk, a side of water, or do you just eat it by itself? Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you want more videos like this. And of course, make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.